If you're into U.S. history, then this is the place for you. Williamsburg, Virginia is more than 300 years old and was one of America's first planned cities. Apparently, the plan worked. Today, Williamsburg is home to thousands of people and is a place that remembers its legacy while looking to the future. Yep, this is a city full of historic significance, all wrapped up in charm and beauty. From its unique and wide array of shops, stores, and restaurants to its wonderful storied past, Williamsburg has something for everyone. No wonder more than four million people visit this place every year. And if Williamsburg is where you want to spend your next vacation, well, we got some things we want to show you. It's what we like to call new ways to play. We'll show you some U.S. presidents that are larger than life. And did you know early colonists were required to plant a particular fruit in Williamsburg? We'll show you which one. Finally, follow us as we check out Jamestown. It's the oldest English-speaking settlement in the country. And we'll talk to a unique guide that'll take you there. The Presidency of the United States, the most coveted office in the world. We've had a lot of amazing presidents in the office, but which is your favorite? Lincoln, Washington, Andrew Jackson, Ronald Reagan. No matter which president is your favorite, you'll find them all here at President's Park. Few men have virtue enough to withstand the highest bidder. An attempt assassin, an assassin came up and shot him in the chest and fractured his fourth rib. With blood running down his shirt, he stood up and gave the hour-long speech anyway. You can learn which two presidents were indentured servants, which president could write with either hand, including Greek and Latin at the same time, which president got shot in the chest in a duel with a 70 caliber dueling pistol, survived and killed the other man. President's Park features 16 to 18 foot busts of all 43 presidents, but this place is much more than just giant statues. When people leave the park, they're left with a learning experience and not just a pictures of the, of the mines. The mission of President's Park, in part, is to promote a better understanding of the American presidency. What a blessing we have for this great nation and the men who have led it to be the oldest surviving democracy for the last 200 years on Earth. I'd say it's mission accomplished. Did you know that during colonial times, any young man settling the Williamsburg area over the age of 20 was required to plant 20 of these grapevines? Why? Well, the county was hoping to make a lot of money making wine. Unfortunately, those early vines didn't take, but these sure did. In 1985, Williamsburg Winery opened for business and proved that good grapes could be grown here. The colonists would be proud. In 1988, the winery released its first wine, Governor's White, and within two weeks, it won a gold medal. Today, you can take a tour of Virginia's largest winery and see for yourself just how they make their award-winning wines. I want this place to be a place of old-fashioned hospitality. The wine is a world that, uh, that's steeped in history. This is a place that resonates with the thinking of Jefferson because to me it is the soul of America. It is, this is the place where uh, the settlements of hope and opportunity were created. And the American spirit is, today we make better wine than we made yesterday, and tomorrow we're gonna do it even better. And that is what we're doing in Virginia. From viticulture, that's grape growing, to oenology, or winemaking, you'll learn it all. Williamsburg Winery is the state's largest winery, producing over 60,000 cases a year. Quite a difference from the colonial days when they weren't even sure if the area could grow grapes. Williamsburg was first settled in 1632. Jamestown, on the other hand, was settled 25 years earlier in 1607. And this, well, this is a recreation of that first settlement. 
13 years before the Pilgrims ever landed in Massachusetts, over 100 English men and boys began a settlement on the banks of the James River in what is today Virginia. Jamestown Settlement takes you back to that time. Built right next door to historic Jamestown and the original landing site, Jamestown Settlement takes great pains to be historically correct. From a life-size recreation of the colonists' fort to replicas of the three ships that brought them here, Jamestown Settlement truly brings history to life. So whether you want to ponder about your presidents, wonder about wines, or have a healthy appetite for history, consider Williamsburg, Virginia for a vacation experience of historic proportions.